Workers at the Cameroon Development Corporation, the CDC, in the Pendamboko area, have taken to the streets in protest today, expressing frustration and anger after going, after going an unprecedented 62 months without pay. The lack of wages has left many workers and their families in deep financial hardship, unable to cover basic needs like food, rent, and school fees. The CDC, one of Cameroon's largest employers, has faced growing instability over recent years. But this latest demonstration marks a breaking point for workers who fear abandoned and betrayed. With placards and chance of no pay, no work, they took to the streets in Pendamboko, determined to demand answers from the employers and to bring their plight to national attention. One said, I have children in school, rent to pay and bills that I can't ignore. Visibly upset, we are out here because we have nothing left. How are we supposed to survive with no income for over five years? They question. The workers say they have made numerous appeals to management and government officials over the years. But their calls have gone unanswered. Many accuse the CDC's leadership of neglect and claim they have been left to languish without any, any clear information about when they might expect pay compensation. The workers have also raised concerns about their working conditions, which have deteriorated drastically with many facilities left in poor repair. CDC, known for its vast operations in agriculture, including banana, Robber and palm oil production has been a key part of the economy in the southern zone of Amazonia, former British Southern Cameroons. Yet, the ongoing Southern Cameroons conflict and financial difficulties in the country have drastically impacted the corporation's operations, with production and exports plummeting over recent years. Today's strike follows similar protests in other CDC locations where workers are experiencing the same struggles. Despite CDC management attributing the delays in payment to conflict and dwindling revenue, workers are getting more transparent and immediate relief. Immediate relief. They say their patience run out. And if their grievances are not addressed promptly, they plan to intensify the strike and broaden their reach. Many are calling on the government to intervene, that is, if the government exists, arguing that CDC's collapse would have dire consequences for the region's economy and workforce. However, for the workers in Pendamboko, the main First remains survivor after 62 months without a paycheck. They say they can no longer afford to remain silent, and which is why they took to the streets today, as you can see in the images there.